Hello folks and welcome to the Ocean State Cuisine, where in today's video we're going to be baking off a corned beef brisket in the oven. Normally I do the boiled dinner with my corned beef, but this time I decided on baking it in the oven and it came out so good. So let's jump in and get started. Now this is an odd looking shaped corned beef that I got, but it tasted really good. So what I did here was that I rinsed it off and I'm towel drying it with this paper towel. Now this is a very easy recipe. There is not a lot involved. And you can see that I'm using this deep baking pan and also a wire rack. Now this does have a layer of fat on top, but I'm gonna leave it because it's not that thick. If you do have a thick layer of fat covering the whole top or the bottom of your brisket, you would wanna remove some of that but usually it's on the top. So now, as we know with corned beef, you don't need to add salt, you don't need to add a lot of seasonings. And I am gonna be using the seasoned pouch or the packet that came with the corned beef, plus a few other kinds of seasoning, which we'll soon see. And so now here I am, and I'm just sprinkling the top of this with the seasoned packet. So this comes with peppercorn and a mix of a lot of other ingredients. And most corned beef that you buy has this already in the package. And then what I like to do is kind of press it into the meat so it stays there. Now even though there is black peppercorn in the mix here, I'm also going to add some. So I'm going to add some fresh black pepper to the top of this. And this pepper mill that I'm using has more of a fine chop to it. And then I decided on adding some onion powder to this. So I'm gonna coat the top of this with some onion powder. And as you can see, I'm pressing all this in so it adheres better to the meat. And then I'm gonna add some beef broth to this. I'm using probably about a half a cup. If you have more, you could use about a cup's worth. As long as it coats the bottom of the pan, but this is all I had left. But this is not gonna be the only liquid I'm gonna be adding to the pan. Actually, I guess I had more beef broth than I thought. And then I decided that I wanted to flip the wire rack over because this wire rack stands pretty tall and I want the contact of that meat to actually reach the broth. Or I should say come in contact with the broth. Now's the secret a can of your favorite beer. Corned beef and beer is a marriage. It just tastes so good. And that's it. That's all there is as far as putting together a corned beef. Now I'm gonna cover this tightly with some aluminum foil. And in the meantime, we wanna preheat the oven and put this on the middle, the middle rack of your oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit which we are going to cook for two hours covered. After cooking it for two hours, you're then gonna remove it from the oven, take off the aluminum foil as we're gonna see in just a moment, and then put it back in the oven for about another hour until it becomes fork tender. Now this corned beef had a strip of fat running through the center so we can see that it makes it shrink a lot. So you gotta consider that when you're feeding a large family. So now we can see that this is now cooked for two hours and it's still a little bit on the tough side. So then I'm just gonna baste it a bit with the broth. And now we're gonna put it back into the oven, uncovered for the additional hour on 350 degrees. And there we have it folks, delicious baked corned beef. And man, this came out so good. I put a little bit of the juice over the meat and it came out nice fork tender. So thanks again for stopping by and checking out the Ocean State Cuisine. Feel free to leave a comment down below because as always, we love to hear from you. And until the next time, you guys have yourself a great day.